Okay, this is a hard problem because if you look at the back of the book, only 18% of people get this problem right. So why is it a difficult problem? Well, first off, it is an ABC problem, meaning any three of these can be correct. So that is, well, one, two, or three. We don't really know how many possibilities, but it turns out to be a one in seven chance guessing. So that already makes it difficult in of itself. Now, if we want to look here at the actual problem, we'll see what makes it tough. The total amount of that Mary paid for a book was equal to the price of the book plus the sales tax that was 4% of the price of the book. Mary paid for the book with a $10 bill and received the correct change, which was less than $3. Which of the following statements must be true? Okay, so there's our information. $10 bill received change that was less than $3. So she didn't spend, say, $5 on the book because then she would get something a little bit less than 5 Why a little bit less than 5 What's What's the whole point here? It's this 4% sales tax, which is annoying. Obviously, sales tax is always annoying. So we have to do some quick math conversion here. But let's start here with A. The price of the book was less than $9.50. Well, that's a really high price. So let's assume it was $9.50. Let's assume it's $9.50. What sort of change does she get? Well, if it's a 4% sales tax, we can say, we can break 4% up this way. 4% is like 1% plus 1% plus 1% plus 1%. Or 1% times 4. So if we know 1% and multiply it times 4, we're going to get the sales tax. So what is 1% of 950? Just move the decimal over and you're going to end up with 9.5 cents. So we're going to turn this into cents. 9.5 cents. So you can think of it this way. 950, what's 10% of that? 95 cents. What's 1% of that? Ah, 9.5 cents. Now, we times this by 4, and that gets us 38%, 38 cents. We add that to the 950, and we see that, okay, we get this nice round number. It's 38 cents, and we get 988. So she receives 12 cents change. But A is saying the price has to be less than 950. But wait a second. We proved that 950 is fine. She gets the correct change, it's less than twelve, less than ten dollars, and so A is incorrect. Because the price can be 950, it doesn't have to be less. So we move to B. The price of the book was greater than nine or than six ninety. Okay, it doesn't have to be greater than six ninety. So let's say the book was seven dollars. So if the book was seven dollars, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. That is, 7 cents is 1% of $7. 7 times 4, because we're going for 4%, is 28 cents. So if, if the book was $7, we would now be paying $7.28, which is great. That makes sense. Works within our little paradigm here. Her change she receives is exact change less than $3. So it looks like B is correct. But wait a second. Can I maybe make it so... The price of the book is less than six ninety, but yet when I add that four percent tax, it takes me to that seven dollar mark, a little bit over that seven dollar mark. So what if I took six eighty? What would happen? Would that four percent tax be enough to get me over that hump? Well, six point eight. If you multiply, if you do the math here, and we go back, we end up getting a number, which is well, we do the six point eight cents thing. But you multiply four times six point eight cents, and you get a weird fraction. Of course, you can't have fractional pennies. So you can see that six eighty doesn't work. And a lot of people are going to get rid of this, and that's why this is a hard problem. There's a certain logic that they're testing for here. The idea of four percent being one twenty fifths. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take the number six dollars. When I have $6 and I add 4% tax to that, doing the 1% thing, that's 6 cents times 4, that's 24 cents. And so with that 4% tax, that gets me to $6.24. And I can just actually write the decimal there instead of writing the cents. So 6.24, okay, that, that's fine. What does that have to do with 125th? Well, if I want to make it so that this 4% tax is actually now 25 cents, I need to move up by increments of 25 cents here in the dollars as far as the dollar range goes. So 625, 625 gives me 25 cents change. If I move up another 25 cents to 650, then that gives me, aha, uh -huh, 26 cents change. And if I finally move up to 675, that little increment each time up by 25 cents yields one cent increase here. And that gets me to, aha, uh -huh, 
seven dollars and two cents. So when we have six seventy-five here, and we add four percent to it, we still get over the seven dollar mark. And so therefore, the price of the book does not need to be greater than six ninety. And so that is out. And then finally, we have the sales tax was less than forty-five cents. Well, if the book is here, what, what was our maximum price? We were up here at 950, that was extreme. We only got to 38 cents. So you can see that we can't really go much higher than that. There's no way we're gonna get to 45 cents. So it has to be less than 45. And so the only answer is C. And if you were there for the whole thing, congratulations. That was definitely a hard problem. I believe the hardest problem percentage wise in this book, math wise.